Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. For those of you who feel like your boat has passed you by, your ship has come and gone, your train is never coming in and the light at the end of the tunnel is nothing but a train getting ready to run you over. Your day will come. There's an old rock and roll song from back in my day when I was a kid. Our day will come if we just wait a while. No tears for us. Be in love and wear a smile. You know, God is love and God loves you. He loves you deeply. We have no idea what he has in store for you. You have no idea. He says in his word, I know the plans I have for you. And in, in other versions says, I know the thoughts I have towards you. Yeah, he wants to bless you, not harm you. Be encouraged because your day will come. You know, one time I was, I was coming out of a dream. I'll never forget it. And it was as if somebody was yelling at me. And they said, this is your day. It sounded like a, um, what do you call those, those game? It sounded like one of those contestant game shows where somebody was letting me know I was going to be a big winner that day. Well, that's what he hollered in my ear in the dream. This is your day. And shortly after that, the Lord blessed me with my car. The Lord blessed me with my own salon. The Lord blessed me in Milton. Uh, it was just things were just happening. He blessed us. He blessed me to start a church. A lot of things were happening during that time. And God let me know that my day had come. Well, I want to tell you, your day has come. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't look at the weather. Don't look at the storms, at the lightning and listening to the wind. And don't get all caught up in that. You know, right after a storm, you see what, how beautiful a day looks when the sun comes out. Right after a storm, it's 10 times more beautiful. The colors are way more vibrant because they've just been rained on by rain of heaven, not by the holes from the, from the yard, from the neighbor's yard. They, when rain comes, it refreshes, it, it gives life, it gives vibrance. And listen, God, when he allows storms in your life, he is ushering in a new life, a renewed life. He's ushering in a renewal, a refreshing. He's ushering in growth and, and hope. He's ushering in blessings. Storms are there for a reason. Don't look at every storm as if it's a curse. Oftentimes the blessing comes right after the darkest hour of your life. You have a look at at light, the way light hits an object. Okay, let's look at my mouse. Okay, you see how light hits the object. It's just pure bright. When you cast a shadow, it's hard to show. I'm trying to show. When you cast a shadow, especially in the sunlight, you notice, let me just say it like this. Go outside on a real bright, bright sunny day. The brighter the sunlight, the darker the shadows. So when you have shadows creeping into your life and you're wondering what's going on, what's wrong, what's God doing to me? Is he punishing me? Is he cursing me? Always know that your darkest shadows are a, oh, a clear indication that God's light is shining brightly on you. Mm. I'm trying to get you to see this so you don't get discouraged 
by the shadows, by the storms, by the wind, by the rain, by the lightning and the thunder. Do not get discouraged. Mm. When God is poised to bless you, the reason you don't always recognize it is because God's ways are above our ways. I mean, he gets on my nerves sometimes. I even tell him that. He's got a sense of humor, y'all. He gave us a sense of humor. You know, he's got a sense of humor. But there are times when God does things in, in a paradox. Uh, he'll, he'll do crazy things. He'll, it, it'll look like the opposite is happening. It, it'll seem so dark, so dreary, so hopeless. And God is ushering in a bright, beautiful blessing. But we don't see it because of the storm. Or maybe we've gone through years of drought. Years of famine. Mm, years of doing without, sacrificing. Never getting our dreams realize our needs really met the way we want them to be. It doesn't mean it's going to be like that always. The first half of my walk with the Lord was a financial struggle, y'all. Yes, it was. With an unfaithful husband. Mm. Now, what happened in the last half of my life with the Lord? I had a wonderful husband, beautiful husband. The Lord blessed me with my own salon. The Lord blessed me in Milton with our own house. I mean, the blessings just started pouring in. But I had to go through the first half of my life seemingly in a never-ending drought, in a never-ending famine. There always seemed to be a crisis popping up. Always disappointments. Listen, <laughs> sometimes God promises in his word, and it is in his word, so it just depends on the individual. For some people, their latter end will be way greater than their former. Don't judge your future based on what you've been through. Don't do that. Don't judge your future based on what you're going through right now. You have no idea what God has in store for you. Trust him. Ask him to help you trust him if you're losing faith. Ask him to encourage you. Ask him to give you all the help you need to stay close to him when sometimes you want to turn your back on them, have a hissy fit, an adult temper tantrum, stomp your foot and say, you're doing me wrong, Lord. No. Ask God to help you praise him. That sacrifice of praise through the tears, through the pain. Oh. And yes, through the suffering years. Because there are times and seasons of suffering. Pain, loss, cloudiness, you just don't get it, murkiness. But all through that, God is developing you. He's enabling you to bear precious fruit. Trust him. Trust his love for you now. Don't give up. What does the Bible say? And this is a promise, y'all. When it says it is a definite, it's a promise. Okay. Do not be weary in well-doing. Why? Why does the Bible say that? Here's your answer. For in due season, due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. The ghost. Don't throw your hands up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't walk away and, 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 and suck your teeth and just say, forget it. No. Don't give up. For in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. Oh, I 
wish I could just wave a magic wand and, and, and give you some happy dust. <laughs> but I know sometimes the seasons are difficult. If you could just convince yourself, ask God to convince you of how much he loves you and how much he has in store for you. There's a, a scripture in Isaiah that says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those that love him. God has stuff prepared for you now. Hang in there. Hang in there. Pray when you don't feel like saying a word to him. Pray. Ask him to help you through this. God bless you. You be encouraged. Your change is coming.